We're also mourning the loss of an American icon. Barbara Walters, the legendary news anchor, reporter, and talk show host, has passed away at the age of 93. Walters joined ABC News in 1976, becoming the first female anchor on the evening news program. Three years later, she became a co-host of 2020, and in 1997, she launched The View. A statement from her spokesperson says Barbara Walters passed away peacefully in her home, surrounded by loved ones. She lived her life with no regrets. She was a trailblazer not only for female journalists, but for all women. CNN's Richard Roth has more on her groundbreaking career. Barbara Walters was one of the most fascinating people of any year in the television era. I know that I've done some important interviews. I know that I have been a part of history. Was she ever? Are you sorry you didn't burn the tapes? Yes, I think so, because they were private conversations. We read that you are mad. <laughs> From murderers... Why did you kill John Lennon? ...to movie stars. Are you a changed man since the illness? Did it affect you very much? Did you mind being thought of as sex, sex, sex? I think that what is important is to have curiosity. Uh, follow that curiosity. I'm a great believer in homework. Before people revealed all on social media, Barbara Walters was the interviewer to open up the stars. Does he hit you? He shakes, he pushes, he, um, he swings. I'm me, and, and I hope that they think that I'm fair and that I can be penetrating without being a killer. And I am, I hope. And which interview was her most important? The first, and, and at that time, the only, they only did one after interview, that Anne was a dot and Menach and Begin gave. Uh, you are always like this. <laughs> <laughs> she said her 1977 interview with Cuba's Fidel Castro was a news coup. A man who runs a country? A man who allows no dissent? Castro didn't make it easy. Blowing uh, a cohibo, you know, the cigar <laughs> that he smokes, uh, smoke in my face for three and a half hours. I didn't mind it. It's a different time. About 74 million people, the most viewers for a news program, tuned in to see Monica Lewinsky, the White House intern involved with President Clinton. What will you tell your children when you have them? Mommy made a big mistake. <laughs> she got a reputation for making her interview guests cry. No, he never got to know. <laughs> and you won't feel so big. After Katherine Hepburn said she felt like an old tree, Walters was cut down by critics for asking this. What kind of a tree are you? It didn't take long for Walters to become part of pop culture. Hello, this is Baba Wawa. The same network that made fun of her was where she got her big break, NBC's Today Show. I was not a television suffragette. I kicked the door open because after being there 11 years, I was named the first co-host of a morning program. But she was not permitted by her co-host to ask a question until he posed three. Harry Reasoner. Barbara Walters. It got worse when Walters, to the surprise of many, was named the first female co-anchor of a network evening newscast. I've kept time on your stories and mine tonight. You owe me four minutes. <laughs> She later described it as drowning without a life preserver. The Barbara Walters Special. The specials saved my life. Good evening, I'm Barbara Walters. And launched a legendary career at ABC, capped by creating and co-hosting The View. When did you first <laughs> learn about sex? Well, I didn't learn about sex until I started to do this show, and now I know more about sex <laughs> than I ever wanted to know. The chemistry of it and the fact that it's live that it's outrageous, that you never know what you're going to hear. When she left The View and ABC, they named a building in her honor, a lasting monument for a woman who changed TV. I'm so proud of the women today. There are so many of them that are wonderful. That's my legacy. Prolific career. Yeah, what a legacy. I mean, when she had a special, you watched. Oh, yeah. It didn't matter I remember who those done, days. You always watched. Richard Roth, thanks very much for that remembrance. And some of Barbara Walters' former colleagues are also sharing their touching messages, remembering and honoring her. Former CBS Evening News anchor Dan Rather tweeted, quote, 
The world of journalism has lost a pillar of professionalism, courage, and integrity. Barbara Walters was a trailblazer and a true pro. She outworked, outthought, and outhustled her competitors. She left the world better for it. She will be deeply missed. R.I.P. And on Instagram, Oprah Winfrey posted a photo with Walters with a caption saying in part, without Barbara Walters, there wouldn't have been me nor any other woman you see on evening, morning, and daily news. She was indeed a trailblazer. Meanwhile.